Hello students, I am Akanksha and this is my channel Science Par Chacha in which we will study about some of the very basic science concepts that are in our NCERT books and I hope you all are as excited as I am to learn new things. So now we will begin with our today's class. Morning students, so we will start with our today's class and in this class we will discuss a very general topic, right? Like uh, very general, you can see this all around you and you have like you must have heard this word a millions of times and that is work done so today we will discuss in our class about work done so now moving on ahead let me put my video like let me put my slide on slideshow mode and then we will begin with our class so yes okay so today's topic is work done right so now moving on ahead we will see what work done actually is okay? so yes work done is whenever whenever a force moves something over a distance so here i have highlight in this definition like i have highlighted two important uh, like words right first is the force and second is a distance so whenever uh, we apply um, like force to an object it, it moves to a certain distance and if that object moves to a certain distance then there will be work done okay so i will give you an example right okay, so first like if i have this book right here this uh like uh it's copy in my hand and if i move this uh book from one place to another right like i am lifting this book up right like as you can see uh, i'm lifting this book up or i'm pushing this book towards downwards right if i'm lifting this book up right so i'm applying some force from the below as you can see, uh, if I'm lifting this book up, I'm applying some force and lifting, then it, I'm lifting it upwards. So yes, and uh, as I applied force to this book, it moved into a, like it moved from a certain distance to a particular distance, right? So when I'm applying force, like right now it is here, but if I'm applying force to it and it moves upwards, right? So now before it was here at this level, and when I applied force, it went to this level. So this was the distance covered by this book when a force was applied. So this was the work done, right? So yes, these two uh, were the major points. First is the force and second is the distance, right? So whenever we apply a force, like some force to an object, and then that object moves to a certain distance, then we can say that yes, the work done, uh, like some work was done by the object. So yes, this was all about work and its definition. And in this definition, there are two keywords that you have to remember carefully, right? And yes, um, must remember these two key points. First is the force and then is the distance. Uh, if you will remember these keywords, then definitely you will be able to deduce its formula later on, right? Okay, so now there is a little note and this is also a very important note. You have to remember this note also. And that note is, like if the object did not move right did not move as you can see it did not cover any distance uh, it did not move even though force was applied right even though we applied like we pushed an object but it did not move to any distance it stayed still so in that case there will be no work done right and we will see certain examples of it ahead like how can this be possible like we are applying force but an object is not moving and how is that possible we will see uh, in the further examples right so yes uh, we will be moving on ahead okay so now we, as you saw definition of work so yes there are different situations given here and in these situations you have to identify like in which situation there is no work done and for no work done uh, what was the criteria that the object is not covering any distance so yes okay so now we will see one by one these situations right so first situation is like a person is riding a skateboard so when a person is riding a skateboard uh like yes he's applying some force to the skateboard with his leg then only this skateboard is moving towards the front direction or towards forward direction so yes force was applied and yes uh, if a person is riding a skateboard and applying force, the skateboard will move forward because it is having wheels and force is applied. So yes, 
so the first statement in this statement yes there is some work done okay so this was all about the first statement so yes this is not an example of no work done it is an example of work done because there is force and there is uh, like the object covered certain distance so yes this is an example of work done now moving on to the second statement here we can see uh, you are carrying two bags in your hands and not moving okay i will show you what that means if you are confused okay so here if i am just like holding this book in a certain uh, like in a certain position and i'm not moving it just holding it into a certain position and then i'm holding it for 5 minutes but i'm not moving it just staying still like this and holding this book for 5 minutes so will there be any work done in this uh, the answer is no there will be no work done because yes i am applying force to this object by carrying it for a certain time period but there is no motion there is like this book did not covered any distance so yes like this book it, it was kept stable at a certain position similar example uh, like you are carrying two bags you are just carrying it or just holding it but you are not moving those bags so yes in this example there is no work done because uh, like the object did not cover any distance there was force applied but there was no distance change so yes this is an example of no work done right okay so now moving on ahead to the third statement cutting the vegetable using knife okay so yes whenever we are cutting vegetables you are whenever your mother is cutting vegetables okay so yes she is applying force to the vegetables from the knife while cutting and then force is applied okay yes so some distance is also traveled by the knife because only if a knife moves from one position to another then only it will be able to cut the vegetables right so yes as there were force and there was distance traveled by the object then this is an example of work done okay so i think you are clear with the third concept now coming to the fourth statement you sit on a chair for hours yes okay like this if i'm sitting and i'm not doing any work i'm not moving from one place to another just sitting so yes um force will be applied okay some force is being applied but there is no displacement in my body like i am not moving from one place to another so no distance is being traveled by me there is no distance covered by an object and the head, that object is me okay so now this is an example of no work done because there is no change in distance only force is applied so yes this was an example of no work done so yes according to this question that i asked earlier there are two examples among these four examples right so you are carrying two bags in your hands and not moving first is this and second is this you are sitting on a chair for hours so these two statements uh prove that uh like even though you apply force to the object some objects still don't move so yes this was an example of no work done so yes this was all about no work done so now moving on ahead we will see the formula for work okay so as i told you the two keywords to remember in the definition of work that is the force and the distance right so yes those keywords make up the formula for work done so work done is equals to force into distance moved right so here work done is denoted by w force is denoted by f capital f and distance moved is denoted by s okay small s and the units for these are like for the work done the unit is joules and for the force the unit is newton and uh, the unit for distance moved is meter okay uh, okay so here this meter okay so now the whole to get like the whole unit for the work done will be like the si unit for work done is joules or it can be newton per meter okay by combining these newton and this meter right but usually we use this joules because it is the standard unit so yes this was all about work and i hope you understood the definition the examples 
and the formula for the work done right okay so now i will be ending my today's class okay thank you for watching my video and please like it and comment on it and like if you have any doubt regarding the video or regarding the topic you can ask in the comment below uh, and then please share it with your friends and families and subscribe to my channel this will greatly help my channel to grow okay so thank you and bye